What's up guys? Dave from Drift Games here and welcome to another episode of the Drift Games vlog. This one's not going to be as flashy as the last couple, but we hope you've been enjoying all the videos we've been putting out for the last couple of weeks. We've been working really hard on them. We've been traveling the world. We hope you've been as excited as we have to see some incredible cars and incredible places. However, this video is focusing more on the thoughts of our new compound. Now you guys will know that we put out a video not so long ago challenging our supporters and the car community across the world to try and get us to 100,000 subscribers so our investors and sponsors can see the interest in building a hub for car enthusiasts in Ireland. And we absolutely smashed through that target. We hit 100,000 way before the deadline. and I think now we're floating up towards 125,000 subscribers. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all the support you guys have given us. It's been an amazing week or two for us. We've been banging out the content. We've been working really hard on this for close to three years now, and we finally hit uh, one of our targets. So it's been amazing. So that is totally thanks to you guys. We are so appreciative of all the comments and all the likes and all the interaction. But when I put that video out about the compound, that was very much for market research because I wanted to see what the interest was like. Did people really want it to happen? Did Was the enthusiasm that I had for it or the excitement that I had for it the same in everybody else? And it looks like that is the case. However, on this video, we're gonna clear up the next stages of this process, where we go from here and what happens next. Um, I'm shooting off the cuff here, so it's not gonna be a perfect video, but I wanted to talk to you about the process. Always, Obviously on this channel, we're always very transparent, so we wanna tell you guys what's happening. So. What we've got to start with is all of the comments, all of the interactions that we've had from you guys on this project since we announced it. And that's been our market research, seeing what you guys want, seeing what's possible, and seeing the opinions. So I'm gonna give a little bit of feedback on all that now. So firstly, I do wanna start with, we have a location for this place. I've been offered property all over the country in the last three or four weeks. So I have a place. Obviously, I wouldn't go to the stage of announcing it unless I knew where we were going to be building it. Secondly, um, it's something we've got to talk about very seriously as Irish car enthusiasts is the big difference between dreams and reality. Have you been studying this like I told you? Oh, I have, Ted, I have, yeah. Because we can all get caught up a little bit of dreaming, but one thing that I've always been a big fan of is making realistic plans, which means they actually happen, and they actually happen fast. And I'll tell you why we've gone this particular route. So first and foremost, are we going to build a Forza Horizon Festival, silver stone size, 70 million euro uh, facility that's going to have rally tracks and jumps and helicopters and it's going to be open 24-7 and it's going to be two miles from every single person who likes cars in Ireland's house. That's all dreams. It's never going to happen. And even if I said it was going to happen, it would never happen. So building a massive venue is an impossibility. One, the budget is way too high. We would never be able to afford that. Two, you're not gonna buy land in Ireland at the moment for in any way that size of a place that's not gonna cost more than it would ever be able to make. Three, overheads. You don't wanna build a place that's got such huge overheads that within six months it's bankrupt and that was the end of that. Ambitious projects generally don't happen very quickly and if you wanted that to be built, you're talking five, six, seven years until the doors open. So none of us want that to be too late at that stage. On top of that, we also have to build it somewhere that's reasonable for the Drift Games team to go to all the time to run it and host events and all that good stuff. So it's gonna to have to be somewhere on the East Coast where we live. It would be great if we moved it to the Midlands or to Donegal or to Kerry, but the reality is I don't want to commute, you know, eight hours a day, a day, so someone else doesn't have to commute eight hours once every three or four months. The other thing is, I don't think my girlfriend or any of the guys' girlfriends or wives are gonna to want to sell their houses and relocate uh, for this purpose. So it's gonna be on the East Coast because obviously we have to run it. Is it gonna be open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? No, even McDonald's now isn't doing that. So I don't think this place can do it, but it will be open to the public at certain times and I'll get to that in a minute. So their dreams of building something that's you know, the perfect place is too expensive, it's gonna take way too long to open, the planning is probably going to be rejected, everyone has to relocate forever for their whole life because of it, and it's just not a reality, it's never gonna happen. But what we can do is build something realistic that we open within the space of, you know, 10 months to a year, and that's what we want, something that helps the car community now, that doesn't help it four or five years down the line. You guys have seen so many in Ireland, tracks and go-kart tracks and stuff be built over the last four or five years and everyone's like this is going to be great for drifting this is going to be great for stuff and you never hear from them again because the planning wasn't right because neighbors complained about noise whatever whatever so there's an element of us being realistic on this project to try and get it to happen and not just be pie in the sky so what we're talking about in reality is we can't buy a huge place 
we can't have somewhere that is you know costing a fortune to run every day it will be open at select times for select events and meets and for clubs and things like that but i'll get to the plan of that in a little while i just want to be realistic with you guys that we want it to happen and not to live in the dream world the next thing i want to talk about is the stages that these things happen building something in ireland doesn't happen in 20 minutes even if you're trying to build a house it takes two years probably from you starting to apply from the mortgage until you actually can move in it's probably about two years we're going to try and do it a lot faster than that but even though we want it to be really fast the government doesn't really work like that so what we're doing now is we're going through the plans we're now putting the plans together which is the actual physical structure of this place and then once we have that approved it will go to the planning stage the planning stage will take about 12 weeks maybe a little bit more to be approved or denied and then you've got your construction until it's completed we're not telling you where this place is because as much as all the car enthusiasts want to know where it is from a positive point of view also during the planning stage everyone who doesn't want it to exist will also know where it is and can stop our progress so as you guys can understand we're not going to tell you where it is in fact we're going to tell you next when the planning is approved or denied whether that's happening or not and then we're still not going to tell you where it is to avoid any interference until it's actually built and people can come and see what it is we will be filming a full documentary of it being built but we won't be able to show you that until it is built and that's just the way it is and it's the way we've been advised to do it from the people uh, we've been working with so far on this project so good news that we will keep you updated on whether it's happening or not bad news we can't tell you everything that's happening all the time and it's going to be a pretty tricky year for us to manage the amount of stuff that we're doing for content and traveling with building this place as well in the background that's if it's approved so that's where we're at right now we're in the planning stages uh, we haven't gone officially to planning yet but we're still in the stages of the architecture drawn up all that stuff and then we go to planning so i'll let you know when we go to planning i'll let you know if planning is approved i'll let you know when construction has started and then you'll know soon enough when everything is finished and ready to go a lot of people then asking what is it who is it for so my dream with this place is that it's a hub not for people that sort of always have an existing place to go so if you're a rally driver you have rallies to go to if you're a drifter you have drift championships and events to go to if you're into circuit racing you can go to you know icc or in mondello park this is more of a place for people that fall between the cracks of car society because a lot of people want somewhere to go and show off their pride and joy in a respectful place in a private place somewhere that's you know professional no messing it's just a nice vibe of people talking to each other like-minded car enthusiasts so my vision and it's obviously a lot more complicated than this but the quickest way i can do it is we want to have a private venue which has a huge building in it which will have uh, a showroom for not only our cool builds but people who build cool cars around the country can send us their car we can put it on display and the public can see it whenever they want we wanted to have a shop we wanted to have a coffee shop we wanted to have simulators we wanted to be a place that people can come and watch you know drift events formula one that kind of stuff and chill out and watch them with their cars outside and they can still talk about their cars outside we want it to be a place where car clubs can host their own events so car clubs can come to us rent the venue do whatever they want for the day have their crew with them and you know run that across a calendar over the whole year we wanted to have an awesome drift games experience so at the moment our drift school is really good at teaching people how to drift but i want to expand into a more of an experience so if you come to the drift school you get to see the projects you get to see the drift cars you get to try the simulators and you get to drive the 350z so that's kind of the idea of where we want to go with that we want to do more private tuition so that we can teach people how to drift faster because we have our own space to do it i also want it to be a place where I don't know we can host automotive classes so if you want to get into car photography videography you want to learn about alignment you want to learn about welding you want to learn about mapping we can bring in specialists and almost like a little school teach people themselves how to do all these cool things with cars we want to host car shows we want to host specialist car shows where we have weekends for it's you know an s-body weekend we have an 86 weekend we have a classic american weekend just catering for the variety of cars that we can have in ireland also we want it to be a space where international guests from all over the world can travel to ireland come to our uh, compound and check out the cars do a little bit of drifting whatever it may be sort of like an experience on their holiday that's also something we want it to be we also want it will have a track and that track will be available for it's not gonna be a huge track but it will be available for drifting for auto tests for gymkhana for that kind of stuff you know 
we want it to be a fun place too. So we want to have crazy carts, we want to have games, we want to have foosball tables, pool tables. It's just a really cool hangout kind of place. So that's the vision in our head. We'll add to that as we go. And obviously we're trying to figure out how we make all that work in the space we have. Another thing we want to do very quickly is explain to you guys that it is open to every single type of genre and car enthusiast. Because even though we are drift games and drifting is our main focus generally because that's what we are most passionate about we love all types of cars so whether you're a ford guy or a classic guy or you're a front wheel drive guy or a honda guy whatever this place will be open to absolutely everybody and we will create certain events along the year for everybody who's into every type of car and one of the most important things about this place is we want it to be a place where people meet other people who are into cars i know a lot of people out there might be passionate about cars their friends aren't they feel a little bit alone they're in their garage on their own this is a place they can come hang out with other people have a good laugh, have a bit of crack, and it's set up for enough activities that everyone can kind of mix and have fun. It's sort of like a, you know, an escape away from the real world. That's what we very much want it to be. So that's kind of the position we're in right now. I'm going to do another video during the week uh, based on what the plans we have personally as Drift Games for the year, because they're falling into place now, of what our project cars are, what events we're doing, what championships we're doing, what shows we're doing, what our whole calendar looks like. I'll get to that in another video, so keep an eye for that. But in the meantime, I just want to let you guys know that we want to build this place and open it towards the end of 2022. We don't want to go too ambitious and have it take three, four years to open or never open at all. So we want it to be somewhere that you guys can come soon because I think the car scene needs it soon. Is it going to happen in three weeks? No. Is it going to happen in three months? Probably not. Is it going to be close to it in eight, nine months? That's where we want to be. So that's a realistic approach for us. And obviously, as you can imagine, building something in eight or nine months, it can't be the size of Silverstone. So. That's just something I wanted to get clear in this video because I wanted you guys not to constantly be kind of maybe overhyping what's possible or living in a dream world of things that you know will never happen. So we want you guys to be realistic with us. Now, obviously all the support that we get continuing on our YouTube, continuing on our merchandise, continuing to support our sponsors, helps us create more and more budget this year. And all of that budget will go into this facility because that's what we want. We want it to be the coolest thing ever. We want it just to be an awesome place to be. It's not just going to be a boring, slab or a shed or whatever we want it to be like amazing and what you guys have noticed in our videos is we've done a lot of checking stuff out across the world from Hoonigan Tire Slayer Studios to Adam LZ's compound to Sultan Al Qasimis in the Middle East we've been going to all these places with the back of our mind doing our research of what we want to build ourselves so think of a mix of all of those things and you're probably on the right track so hopefully that clears everything up for you guys and we start to look at it a little bit more realistically but also we start to get excited that this plan can work and should happen but the next stages will be obviously planning and planning approval and we will let you guys know all about that when it happens as you know we're constantly updating our videos almost every day at the moment we appreciate you guys watching we're going to need even more support this year if all of our crazy plans are to come off but we're pumped on it we're excited we know we've got we've got you guys behind us and it's going to be an amazing 2022 for drift games everybody who watches drift games and hopefully down the line everyone that can come and hang out with drift games that's what we really want that's what our dream is so thank you guys for subscribing to the channel thank you for watching we'll see you guys on the next one and it's going to be just as mad we've got tons of project cars tons of events tons of traveling coming so it's all coming your way very very soon so thank you guys and we'll see you on the next one